There are thousands of drills in tennis to practice your shots. Some practice one particular shot and other drills practice a variety of shots. One combination drill that I love to use when I teach is what I call the five ball drill. And what that is, is my student stands at the baseline and I'm at the service line on the other side of the net. I feed a ball to either the forehand or the backhand so they do a ground stroke. Then I feed a short ball so they come running up towards the net, towards the service line. They hit an approach shot. They proceed up to the net. They split. They do a forehand volley or a backhand volley or both. And then I feed them a lob over their head and they run back and they hit an overhead. Those are the five shots. That's the five ball drill. It's basically what I call a simulated point. What do you think? I like the drill very much and what I like to do as I call it a six ball drill with exactly the same shots that Joe is suggesting. But after that overhead, we want to reinforce that player to come back in one more time and knock off a final volley. I think that's a great point. And there's the point. You can take a drill, a five ball drill, make it a six ball drill, make it a seven ball drill. You're basically trying to create scenarios that your student gets used to. And combination drills are good because in a game, often a point will include a combination of shots. So the combination drill is the, sort of the culmination of all these individual drills, forehand drills, backhand drills, overhead drills. You, you roll them into one bundle and you call it a combination drill. And the five ball drill or the six ball drill is probably the best combination drill you can do. The closest thing to a real point. <laughs>